Well guys, Jet English. It's a wonderful day today. It's a bit windy. It can be loud sometimes. But I hope we can have a very nice conversation today. Today I'm going to talk about productivity. I'm gonna give you some productivity tips that you can apply today. And you can do more in less time. It's awesome, right? I know many people like teach about productivity tips. You can probably find thousands of videos, but I'm gonna do mine as well. Because I don't have I don't have mine. Uh, but first, a couple of news from my life. Now I'm going to renew my driver's license. Now I've had my driver's license for 10 years. Now it needs to be renewed. Um, I'm an experienced driver, you, you, you might tell, because I have like 10 years of experience, because you have to renew your driver's license every 10 years. And it might seem I'm a very experienced driver. But guess what? How many times do you think I drove a car? Like I actually drove a car on the streets of a wonderful city. How many times? I give you three seconds. Three, two, one, zero. Zero. I didn't drive a car. Like I never drove a car uh, except for the exam. So I get my driver's license and I never drove a car. Like, how is that possible, you might ask? Well, it's pretty simple. Uh, when I was at school, my father persuade, persuaded me to get a driver's license. Uh, I was very reluctant. I didn't want it. It was terrible, you know. I wanted to get away from it, but my father was like, very, very strict. And very forceful. So he forced me to, to get a driver's license. And it was relatively expensive. It was relatively cheap at that time, so it cost me ten thousand rubles, and you know some fee for for some medical form or for a certificate, something like that. So it cost me about eleven thousand. And yeah, when I was in high school, when I was at eleventh grade, uh, it's another story how I got this license but I got it even though it was very difficult even though I didn't want it really it was my father's will but I passed the exam I was successful and I got my driver license and after that guess what I I put it on the shelf I put it on the shelf and I never and I never took it from there because this is what well, this wasn't my will I didn't want to like to drive I don't like driving Maybe I will in some time in the future, but now I don't really need it. I sit at home basically, and when I go out somewhere, I use public transport. So, yeah, and now after 10 years, I gotta renew it because if I don't, then after some time, I, I lose it. And after that, I'm gonna go to the same procedure again, you know, to pass the exam. Oh, it's awesome. I don't wanna even think about it. So. Now I have to like gather two medical certificates and that I'm not a drug addict and that I'm not a psycho. So that's what I did successfully, almost did. I got one medical certificate from a drug abuse dispenser, dispensary. By the way, I'm gonna show you some of the nicest places in our city, in the town of Hope. Look how beautiful it is. I never showed you these parts, so it might be new for you, it might be new to you. Um, this is actually a railroad station. Oh, like, oof. The man, like, almost lost his passport. <laughs> it would be really, really awful, you know, to lose your passport. It's really awful. Um, okay, where can we go? Like, now I need to go to another facility to another place and get another medical certificate which is proves that I'm not a psycho that I'm no that I don't have any mental problems so how can we go we can go this way we can go that way uh, okay so I got here this way so let's change the route and yeah guys let's talk about productivity I like this topic I love this topic and 
I have lots of ideas. Uh, I wouldn't say that I'm super productive. I'm still learning, you know, every day I try to do something different. I try to add my productivity, you know, add some, some points to my productivity score and have a long way to go. But I think uh, I have some like great ideas that I use every day and maybe it might be helpful for you. So what is productivity? Let's first like, define the term because if you don't define the term we don't know what we're talking about and we don't understand each other. First of all productivity it's the amount of work, the amount of let's say this is the result in a particular time. So in a period of time, the first, so it has two variables. First variable is the result, the result, and the second variable is time. So you, you want to do more in less time, and this is called like productivity, high productivity, when you do a lot in like very little time. And that's what we want, right? We want to do more in less time so we can well, earn more money and we can work less. This is our dream, actually. And wow, so nice, it's so warm. I can't believe it. Like, we literally have a couple of days like this during the year. So guys, let's like take the time and appreciate this wonderful weather. I hope you do it with me. Um, yeah, this is productivity. We want to do more in less time. So the first variable is result. It doesn't matter what like hard work you're doing if you don't generate any results and this is very important to understand because sometimes we do a lot of things like we you know, we work hard we talk to people we search for something on the internet but in fact it doesn't lead to any like sensible results any practical results and at the end of the day if we think about like what we did this day we can't even tell what was accomplished this day um, it's important to keep that in mind so you have to get some result if you like learning English for example <laughs> I'm gonna get back to learning English because that's what I'm doing and it's easier for me to give you some examples if you're learning English for example at the end of the day you have like 10 words learned or you have like a couple of videos watched on YouTube and maybe you improved a little bit you improved your spelling or improve your grammar so you didn't just wander through websites, you know, watching and reading some random stuff, which is fine. I completely understand that, but for some people it might not be enough because they don't have a lot of time to learn. It's, it's, it's good for me, you know, because I learn English every day. It's my, this is my life. This is my, like, work. But for you, you don't have so much time, so you have to choose very carefully. You have to choose your acti activities very carefully. Okay, let's let's keep keep going. So result in less amount of time. So what can distract us? What can distract us from our goals, from our things? For example, you have a very clear goals, you set a plan, and then something boom, something happens, and you forget everything, and you like you wake up at the end of the day, uh, and you're thinking like, what just happened? Oh my god, what just happened? didn't do anything this day okay let's let's like let's name a couple of things what can distract us what can spoil our results well first of all even though it sounds a bit uh, it sounds a bit rude and impolite the first thing that distracts us I think is people people around us yeah that's it uh, for me, it's not much of a problem right now. So I solved this problem a long time ago. Like in this case, it's a problem, guys. I'm not saying that you shouldn't talk to your like relatives or to your family. But most of the time, I see that people spend too much time on that, and they like they don't have any time for themselves. Like they don't have a choice to do that. They like simply flow. Like they simply flow that di that direction. Uh, and they can't really choose what time what time to spend on themselves or on some other people, on their friends or on their family. Just randomly go through the life. Now if someone asks them, okay, let's go there, and they go. Now if someone asks you, help me with this, and they help. And, you know, they, they don't have a proactive position. 
they are passive and they decide what other people have decided to do for them um, so yeah I think that you should set like very strict and clear boundaries where you can do something or where you can't and I think if you don't do this at the very beginning at the very beginning of your relationship it will be very super difficult to change it because people know wow you're a good guy you can help like uh, whenever you want you can call this guy and he will come to the other side of the city the other part of the city and you know, will help you with everything they know that and you know we need people like this and again I'm not saying that this is bad but these people are uh, these people really like sacrifice themselves for the for the general good for the common good for the society and we need this, such people if you want to be one of them that's that's perfectly fine but like forget about your personal like your personal life your personal goals like busy people or successful people like they are super super careful about what to spend their time on by the way this is a musical school this is a music school uh yeah so this is the first idea people can steal a lot of our time and they don't do it like with a bad intention you know you should understand that too they do it because like because they just do it all the time they like to talk they like to like spend their time they like to relax and um, actually i would recommend that you that you talk with such people like a, li a little bit less and you would talk with like busy people who really value their time because you know that like old saying that whoever you friend with whoever you friend with like you copy his trade or him copy his or her traits you copy their behavior and if they're busy like you try to do the same and if they're very like lazy and relaxed and you are lazy and relaxed so we are the mirror the reflection of our friends uh, people that we talk to a lot so yeah be careful with your friends and be careful how you spend it now for example if someone asks you to help to help if someone asks you for help well you can see like you can think about it um, okay I'll, I can tell you how I do this like how I approach this and I know guys I don't give any advice for this particular problem because it's really it's a really sensible issue you know if you someone close to you ask you for help and you don't do it well it might spoil your relationship and people will be offended and might hold a hold a grudge so be, be really careful here so what I do uh, if it comes from like my parents or my very close relatives of course of course I, I do this but you but you should show like that you do it okay no, no I don't show anything to my parents like your parents ask you do it immediately okay don't even ask or your like brothers or sisters don't even ask but if some like relatives first of all I I see their like attitude it's important how people how people approach this this question if they really understand that you're busy idiot stupid idiot so if they really really nice and they understand that you're busy and they really ask you for something that you know they can't get anywhere else then I would go for it I would help them but if they are like completely clueless and like oh you know we're doing something with computer please come out to that part of the city and help me because I just don't I just want it you know what's the problem yeah I can do it it's just help me. like what's the problem well I'm very like angry I get very angry so I will try to identify the problem I will try to help them remotely I will try to you know to send someone to them but I wouldn't do it myself because it's a lot of my time um time no time so over time I set these boundaries and everyone knows around me that I can help you know I'm not like not a not an asshole no, I'm not a jerk I just doesn't don't doesn't care about anyone so I'd like to help but people know that I would do it in a very 
uh, it's in really important circumstances, really important cases, when they can't find the help somewhere else. And I can advise them something, I can recommend them something, I can help them with information, but with other things, like they know that I'm busy. Yeah, people should know that you're busy. That's what they should know. It doesn't mean that they can ask you for help. It just means that they are very careful and they ask you only when like it's super important and they like can't find it, when they're desperate. Only then they ask you. But if then people know they just can solve a really simple problem, you don't even Google it, they don't they don't ask you, they just they just go, okay, come here and fix this problem. Then you have you have to understand them that you can go like this. Okay guys, again it's a very sensible issue. I'm just telling you my experience that people around me know that I'm busy and they still ask me and I don't have so many friends by the way. That's another like it's another advantage because if you have many friends well be ready that you're gonna spend a lot of time with them instead of that doing something on your own. So like very few friends and people know that I'm busy. And people don't call me that often, you know, just just for some random random talking. No, they don't do it. They call me when they need me. And I like to use social media. When they need something, they don't call me, but they send a message, a voice message. And I can hear it wherever it's convenient, whenever it's convenient for me, and then answer it. So again, people just. Think about it, how much time, like people around you, uh, like I don't want to say the word steal, but it actually is, like it's your time, it's the most valuable source you have, but don't waste it. Um, yeah, people, 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 so my tip is, so let them know that you are busy, that you have like very important projects, that you... You don't just ignore them, you care about them, you want to help them, but unfortunately you're super busy and you, you know you make you, you make something awesome. You're busy with something really awesome that you can live. Okay, was long. Now, my second tip. Uh, I think that it's a very good idea to track your time, at least temporarily. No, I know that not everyone is so like freaked out by every minute they spend. I know it might be difficult for some people, but at least for one week, I think it's possible. So what you do, you download an app on your smartphone, and I'll put the link in the description. It's called A Time Logger. So do this experiment, you know, for one week, track every single activity you do. And there are already like 10 categories, 10 categories, and you might add some new categories, you know, some things that you do, and that's it. Like, you don't have too many categories. I think 12 is, 12 is enough. Like, you eat, you like exercise, you work, you go shopping, you know, you do some chores, and you do some housework, sleep, you know, and maybe sport, something like that. Do it and you'll be amazed. Like, if you've never done this, you'll be really amazed at how much time you really have. You might think, oh, I don't have time. No, people say all the time, like, I'm busy, I don't have time. I don't believe it. You know, I don't believe it. It's not about the time, it's about your priorities, You're right? We always have time for, you know, for some talking. We always have time for some social media, for WhatsApp, and Facebook. We all have time for YouTube. We all have time for games. Like really, grown-ups play video games on their phones. They they do have time for that, but they don't have time you now for some learning, you now for some you know, some help they can do for others. And 
Yeah, you will see. You will see with your own eyes how much time you really have. So you will see that you spend like 12 hours for like 20 hours on your chores, 20 hours on going shopping, 20 hours on like doing nothing. By the way, I have this category to like, it's literally like doing nothing. Um, I call it infrastructure. You know, some things that can really fall in, a, in any category. And they are important, but you can really decide what, they, what they're for. So yeah, do it for one week and you will find lots of opportunities. How can you save your time? How can you get more time? Like there. Um, let's move on to the next tip. Which is, uh, let me think, let me think, when you have this information, then based on this information, you can, like, you can plan, you can plan better. Okay, another thing is use your downtime. Use your downtime. Like, what is it? Um, downtime is when you don't do something, you don't do anything in particular, right? Uh, for example, right now, I'm going for like my medical certificate, right? And I'm using this time to record the video. I might go, you know, might look around and to see the scenery, like look how beautiful it is, you know. Maybe I might make a call to someone. But I don't. I don't. I'm using this time. I'm using this time effectively and you guys I think enjoy such kind of this kind of videos more than like sitting at home. And yeah, just use your downtime, use your spare time. For example, when you when you use a car, when you drive a car, like you know, listen to something. I know many people already know this advice, like and they do it. A lot of people do it already. Like I see it for myself. That people are like more careful, more frugal to their time. But if you don't, yeah, consider this. Consider doing something when you drive. I mean, listening to, like, instead of music or instead of some, you know, radio, like, useless radio channels, like, you can listen to an audiobook, you can listen to some podcast, or you can listen to some English materials, and you can improve your English, like, listening. Maybe, maybe, it will be much better for you. And, what else? Number four. Uh, be aware of your uh, be aware of the all those moments when you're really tired when you're really tired when you lose your oh, not motivation but when you lose your attention you know you're in this real weird condition and you don't care about things like yeah be aware of we all have such moments and in this moment it's like super easy to spend a lot of time spend like hours on some useless stuff for example when you're very tired in the evening in the evening you might grab a phone you know and start browsing through instagram or through some other social media and um, before you know it you know <laughs> uh, it's it takes like two hours of your time so it's so terrible and just be aware of the moments. If you're really tired, like go to bed. Or if you're really tired, just you know, go for a walk. Stop doing some. Stop doing anything. Just be aware of uh, at what time you're more vulnerable to such behavior. So I know when I'm more vulnerable. So I know that when I spend a lot of time for nothing. Like it's the morning when I wake up, and it's the evening I mean, before you go to bed. I'm very passive sometimes and I might spend a lot of time really stupidly. Wow, guys, I'm, I'm always, I'm almost in Bali, you know, looks like Bali, right? Well, almost no differences, well, except for some garbage and, and that's it. Like, look at this, look at this white beach, right over there. Okay, I hope my battery isn't dead. But only 30%. Well, guys, um, what else? Okay, um, 
I can talk about it a lot and these are some some basic recommendations and I'm gonna wrap this video up with my last advice my last tip to you which is working in chunks and uh, I think you already know this technique but you know knowing something and doing it actually and getting the results from it it's I it's a bit different right uh, what is it chunks chunks is the time that you set for some activity and during this time you are super creative you're super focused and you don't get distracted on something else yeah by the way guys I forgot I forgot before this tip I need to add something else yeah look at this there is some kind of competition you know rowing competition maybe just a usual practice I don't know but there are lots of people there I'm not sure if you see it okay let me zoom in boom you see it so um, yeah guys I think them I need to say that I must say that turn off your notifications turn off your notification turn off I mean turn off your notifications and revise what you read on social media that's a huge distractor that's a huge killer of your time this is a monster you know and if you look at the history I think no it's my estimation I should verify this I should do some numbers but if we look into like we look at the history the history of the human the history of the humanity and if we see like who killed the most people I think it would be like social media uh, like if you add all that time that people use you no know, without any reason without any benefit if you add this time it will be like millions of people's life lives I think this is the, the, the worst killer like the serial killer the worst the the most terrible killer in the human history social media so please go check all your like all your communities all your groups you know, all the people that you follow and ask yourself sincerely do you really need all of that do you really get something important like could you live without them I mean honestly just ask yourself of course if you like a, a professional and if you read some you know news collections news like digest on your uh, like in your field and then you get like newest newest technologies from all over the world then okay but ask yourself honestly I'm not gonna check your social media be honest with yourself do you really learn something from it is it really important or you just waste your time when I ask myself this question and I was completely honest with me with myself you know what I unsubscribe from everything I unsubscribe from every single channel every single community and every single person I just stopped doing it at all like whatsoever I'm just going in circles because this beach is real nice by the way guys let me get some pull-ups over there there is a bar I'm gonna get some pull-ups right on the video so guess how many pull-ups I'm gonna do so guys um, I left only like, one public one community and I have notification for it not on my phone but in contact and apart from that I turned off all notifications from all apps and like it's crazy how many social medias like are there oh uh, like people check one social media then go to another then go to another then go to another then can come back to the first one then again let's get something new like guys stop wasting so much time it's your time especially if you're young it's the best time of your life you should make something great you should make something awesome don't waste your time on some people's you know, other people's like I don't know activities they live their lives like those bloggers they pursue their dreams but but if you just passively watch it without any reason then you don't okay guys I hope you'll see my my effort let me 
fix my camera the way that you could see me. Wow, how can I do this? Okay. Uh, something. Uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna work. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't even know. No. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. I think you're gonna see my legs at least. Okay guys, I just did 10 times because I had a practice yesterday. So guys, yeah, social media, just turn them off. Now, I know it might seem Guys, I don't know. If you want to learn, just you know, take a book and read the book. It will be 100% more efficiently. It will be 100% better than just searching through social media. Social media, like information on social media, like it's too dispersed, it's too sparse, it's too like it comes with like different pieces that you can put together, and that's the problem. When you read a book, you get like the solid picture. You get the whole idea, but with social media, you get a lot of information, and the, you think that you're smart, but you don't get the whole picture. Like, and it's even worse when you think you're smart and you think you learn a lot, but in fact, like your knowledge is not consistent. Your knowledge is not reliable. Your knowledge is not reliable. You can't even check like what source you're reading. People say. People still lie all the time for the sake of views, for the sake of subscribers. They might lie a little bit here and there, and you learn it, and you read it. Okay, so better read a book. Like, take a course. I don't know. Find a tutor, find a mentor. Social media information. Like, the basic idea is to give you some information, give you some idea and then to sell you something. Again, I'm not saying it's bad, but it's not for learning. It's not for learning. You just know to have the idea of what's going on. Very shallow basic idea of what's going on. You can learn from it. You can learn from social social media sources okay and the first thing today is what was that I forgot ah working in Changsai yeah and what's the point of working in chunks so you set a time you know it's usually recommended to work for 30 minutes but I work for 55 minutes uh, you know, honestly, I'm a bit lazy too, so I follow, I don't follow this advice like 100%, but I still I do it, I use it, it's already a habit for me, so you set a time and you, and you think about what you're going to do, this 45 minutes or 40 minutes or 30 minutes, whatever, I recommend to work more than 30 minutes, 30 minutes is like nothing. Okay, so 45 minutes, for example. Then you have a plan. These 45 minutes, I'm going to learn English. Alright, or these 45 minutes, I'm going to work really actively. And then, during these 45 minutes, you turn off your phone, you turn off like, all the websites that you're reading, you turn off like everything, nothing can distract you, and then you are completely focused on this activity. Right? 
side. So you don't do anything else. You work super actively. Like, like this is what your life depends on. This is the last thing in your life. Like work like this is the last day in your life. So you work like this, and then after 45 minutes, and the signal goes off, then you drop everything and then you relax. Now you can relax. You can go to social media if you like. Well, five minutes, you know. Five minutes doesn't hurt. And yeah, you have some time, maybe you drink some water, you do some physical exercises, and then again, like you work hard then you relax. You work hard then you relax. You work with this you know with these waves. In waves. Super active then super passive. And then again you set a plan, you set a time, and then you work hard for 45 minutes again. And yeah. It's much better than work faithful because why is it useful? So why not just work with all people? You know, we work and work and work more no you learn, you learn and learn and learn. Because the thing is if you work more than one hour, more than two hours, your productivity goes down. It's inevitable. It's inevitable. We can work hard. This is now contradicts the definition. It goes against the definition of productive work. And productive productive work and really hard mental effort can last for a very short time. So if you if you work like for five hours your productivity goes down you know you start getting distracted now you start watching videos on YouTube and now the last hour you don't do anything. If you look at the people at at work look at your colleagues well sometimes this hour they don't do anything like at all they may be like drink drink tea they talk to each other yeah because well, it's natural you can't work hard for like five hours for six hours you know remember remember school every 45 minutes we have recess we have a break so because it's impossible and if you, if you don't work in chunks you're bound to work really slowly. You're bound to work really, really effectively. So guys, this is my last tip. Work in chunks. Okay, let's let's get it again. Let's repeat it again. <laughs> if I can. First, first tip. Um, just look around and see. Okay, how can I put it? Just be careful. Just be aware of your surroundings. You know, set boundaries with other people. Be there, be there your relatives or your friends, your friends. Like, be careful with time you spend on them. Number one. Like, number two. What was that? Um, I don't remember. Like, turn off your notification. Uh, unsubscribe and unfollow all the necessary things that you follow and working chunks and five ah and like time your time like track your time for one week and you'll see okay guys now I'm getting to the psycho neurotic oops I forgot the name Neuropsycho dispensary to get my second medical certificate and it was nice talking to you today thanks for watching and i see you next time bye bye